Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, I'm drawn to do a past, present and a future reading. So we are going to use the Psychic Tarot. I will pull three cards um, for each, for each past, present, future. And then we shall have a look at the mermaids and dolphins. I'm just going to tell you as we go along. Okay, let's pull three cards because <clears throat> I've got three more decks here. Anyway. <clears throat> I need to find my voice. Oh, what's happened to my voice? Okay, three cards from the Psychic Tarot deck. We're looking into the past energy. I don't know what story is going to come out. Who's it for? But, um... Well, let, let's just take a look. Let's take a look in the book. Past energy is the sacral chakra. Obstacles and challenges. It's good to see that card in the past, isn't it? And suffering in silence. Interesting. What shouts out straight away is a burning passion. Um, it's coming from the divine masculine and the divine feminine. I said, I didn't know whose story this is. This is both your story. Okay. So we have the sacral chakra. And this is where all that passion's ignited. It kind of gives you... Um, it. It gives you drive, but I want to say it gives you sexual, sexual drive. <clears throat> Obstacles and challenges here for the masculine. This is what he's been going through. And I feel it's about actually speaking. I'm like, what's happened to my voice? It's like the cat got his tongue. <laughs> I feel the energy here now of a masculine who finds it quite easy to talk to pets. Cats. Very psychic cats are. Anyway um obstacles and challenges now i'm taken to cat's eyes which would actually be like um <clears throat> i was going to say when you have cat's eyes on like the motorway so keeping you in your lane okay <laughs> so i feel like the masculine here has been kept in his lane his lane he's having trouble or he's had trouble speaking because the blue here takes you to the throat the throat chakra <laughs> <coughs> excuse me guys so we have the masculine here in the past he's been struggling with actually communicating but it feels like he's been kept in his lane okay um following the cat's eyes so it's like following the signs because there's all these orbs here but then i'm taken to them symbols looking a bit like the sacral chakra which is about passion so he's been kept in his lane, as in he's been following his passion. So I feel as if um, mission work is underway. Okay. It's about putting two and two together. And then we have the feminine here who's been suffering in silence. And it's like she's sitting there patiently looking at this orange orb in the distance. I feel the energy of her wondering what the Divine Masculine's been through. Well, he's been through obstacles and challenges here, which he hasn't spoke about. But it's like he's been receiving the signs and he's been following them. They're internal signs because they're giving him the, the, the nudge, the urge. He's been having the urge to do certain things. This is in the past. And you've just been sitting there, Divine Feminine. It's like you've got the Magician's one there. But it, this is more about the Divine Masculine. Um, this is about self-realisation. When you realise things for yourself. Okay. The aha moment. <clears throat> well, let's have a look and see what the Mermaids and Dolphins would like to say about this. <clears throat> Father healing. Mm. I'll have to tell you what I was singing in my mind. Do you guys know what the birdie song is? With a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And a shake your bum. 
just like your mum. Anyway, that was what was coming through. And then we've got uh, father healing that's come through. With a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Shake your bum just like your mum. I feel as if uh, there's this, uh, there is this connection with you, Divine Feminine, with the Divine Masculine's mum. But then we've got father healing here. Your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. Okay, I feel like this is for the masculine's energy. Father healing. <clears throat> this card shows that you still have some father healing. No, it doesn't say that. Well, it does. It says that father... <laughs> well, I said father healing left to heal. So this card, this will come in with self-realisation. When you can kind of like look at yourself and examine why you behave, maybe the way that you behave and is it a behavioural pattern that you've picked up. Um, it's kind of like the energy when, okay, let's use the Divine Masculine as an example. He cannot emotionally express himself. The answer really is, I just don't know. Like, I don't know how I feel. I don't know. And it, really, it's kind of like, well, why don't you know? Have you not like delved a bit deeper? Kind of gone back through your history? Look at your behavioural patterns? Anyway. <clears throat> so self-realisation is when you can see and go, oh, I see now why I behave that way. So this card shows you that you still have some father issues left to heal. The healing doesn't need to take a lot of time. It simply requires your willingness to be free of any old anger, grief or fear related to your male parent. Universal energies are either male or female. Male energy is expansive and giving. Female energy is nurturing and receptive. Now, this is really pointing out. I felt like my eyelids went really slowly then. It's like, wow. <laughs> trying to put myself in slow-mo. Have you been trying to put yourself in slow-mo? Okay. Um, the universal energies are either male or female. Male energy is expansive and giving. And I felt this is about him being kept on the right path. He's been, uh, he has been expanding and giving. Giving forth right. Giving forth right. Mm. I felt the energy of moving forward, choosing. It's about decision making. You can't change the past, but you can change... Now that you're aware, you can change the way that you proceed. Okay. And you can always choose to proceed the right way. So universal energies are either male or female. Male energy is expensive and giving. Female energy is nurturing and receptive. If we're unhealed with respect to our father, the universe seems to be ungenerous. If we're unhealed toward our mother, we won't accept the gifts the universe offers us. The more you focus on the spiritual truth of your father, the more your heart will be receptive to the universe's continuous and all-encompassing giving. Accept your rightful bounty and open your arms to your divine inheritance. Affirm, I now focus on the love that is the spiritual truth of my father and hereby balance any karma between us. I now let go of everything but the love and the lessons of my relationship with my father. That's beautiful. <clears throat> right, let's move on um, to the other cards I have. So for this section here, the past section, I chose to use the Heal Yourself cards. The Heal Yourself reading cards. And I thought that could kind of give us an indication of what you've been going through. There's a very stubborn masculine energy coming through here as if he's watching this from a distance, uh, which you can see. Same with the Divine Feminine here as well. It takes me to the beach ball, um, where you can both be looking at a beach ball. 
but say completely different things, different colours. So the side of your beach ball, you might say, let's say, blue, green and red. And the side of the masculine's beach, beach ball, they might say white, black and orange. Same ball, different perspective. Okay, let's go to the Heal Yourself cards. <clears throat> it's just like silence, in silence. Um, I felt then I've got to kind of like stop chatting. <laughs> okay. Let's look at this past energy. Father healing, obstacles and challenges, suffering in silence, the sacral chakra here, and we have self-love. Card number 24. So there's loving oneself here with the um, the nurture and assistance of the Divine Mother and Divine Father energy. 24, let's read this message. Okay, this is for the past energy. Take time out to get to know yourself and what works for you in this particular cycle of your life. Some of the biggest obstacles to self-love are self-criticism and perfectionism which lead to harsh judgment of the self, closing down and eventually illness. Have you been trying to compete with others, get approval from people in your family or simply pushing yourself too hard? If so, you need to soften and start listening to your body. Focus on keeping your heart open and practice acknowledging and recognising the good in yourself and others makes me smile because that's definitely a past energy of mine. I've mentioned the mantra that I had for a while, which was keep your heart open. <laughs> so this card beckons you to breathe love in and out every moment of the day. Ask yourself, what changes do I need to make to my daily routine so that love can pulsate through every breath, action and relationship I engage in? Choose to open your heart through softness Deep breathing, relaxation, movement, finding beauty in nature, in your home, in your pain, in your love, in your sadness, in prayer, etc. Keep your heart open even though it makes you feel vulnerable and exposed. Okay, let's have a look and see what action was kind of taken in the past. So this week is your opportunity to learn to receive. Maybe it is something you can still embrace. We can always embrace ourselves. Anytime anyone says something nice to you or offers to help you, take a deep breath, thank them and accept. You need to find something loving or nurturing to do for yourself. This could be a massage, a healing treatment or a movie with a friend. Every time you look in the mirror, repeat, I am lovable and do this every day until you really believe it. Okay, so if you're, if you're still not a believer, in how lovable you are, <clears throat> you need to keep practicing self-love, always. Okay, that's the past energy, guys. Let's have a look at the current energy. Ooh. I went to shuffle. Oh, look, you can see the emperor there. It's what you can see here that flipped over. So I went to split them so I could shuffle them. Present energy is the two of cups spiritual union you can feel the energy here but it's like your your heads are getting closer and closer there's that looking at uh, the same object the same desire it's a desire looking at the same desire but just from different angles <clears throat> spiritual union is the present energy beautiful should we just read this card first it's in the middle of the deck it's like you both putting your heads together Combining thoughts is coming through. So very much a telepathy. Look, and you've got the Ace of Cups now. There's not even two cups in this picture. There's just the one. Spiritual union is the present energy. Look, 
can't fan myself. Oh, hold on, I'm missing the page now. This card deals with relationships involving an emotional bond. It could be between new lovers, kindred souls, family members, friends, business associates or partners. It could even relate to a project or a specific situation. This would be the perfect time to realise that all relationships are really about you. Notice when you interact with different people in your life, are they giving you energy or taking it away? Is there an even exchange? There should be an equal balance between giving and receiving energy. Relationships are mirror images of your own life. They reflect how you feel and treat yourself and how you react and respond to various situations and individuals around you. Each and every union is an opportunity for soul growth. <clears throat> That's beautiful because you can see here, um, when I said about practicing self-love, I wanted to say because practice makes perfect. And uh, you're like, you're honing in on your skills. Okay. Um, paying, paying careful consideration to every conversation. Okay. Current energy. Let's uh, let's pull another card. The solar plexus. Oh. So the one before is the sacral. Now we move up to the solar plexus. And I said when I said here, I've got to try and get my words out. I said here about um, will drive. Did I say that willpower? But I felt it was more about a sex drive. Um, Really, having the willpower is this card. So it's like we're moving up the chakras, we're moving up the system. It's more in alignment with this colour here. This gives you the get up and go. I always associate the solar plexus with like the chariot energy. Okay, that nudge from the divine. We can read about the... Because this is the present energy, so let's have a read about the solar plexus chakra. <clears throat> The solar, I was looking, I saw the word fire. The element is fire. Um, the solar plexus chakra is located between the, the navel area. <clears throat> I do apologise, I'm just uh, losing my voice here. Uh, the solar plexus chakra is located between the navel area, just below the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, willpower, self-esteem and confidence. The energy centre where your emotions and feelings are recorded, this chakra is associated with clairsentience, inner feeling, which is the major psychic reception area. So I picked up telepathy and then there is, uh, it's associated with where your feelings are recorded. This chakra is associated with clairsentience, inner feeling, which is a major psychic reception area to balance the chakra you may want to try yoga dance and movement or breath work with color in addition be aware of people who drain your energy workshops and classes that focus on empowerment will help you open <clears throat> and harmonize this area okay um we'll get one more card i said we'll pull three Fulfillment of wishes, the nine of cups. <clears throat> now we know that that uh, in the traditional tarot strongly suggests the divine masculine's card. And he's ready. He's ready for the ten of cups. He loves himself enough to know what he wants. Okay. Fulfillment of wishes. He's just stopping to smell the roses. Beautiful. Two of cups. The solar plexus chakra and then the nine of cups i've opened to the nine of pentacles which in the traditional tarot represents a divine feminine but it's a masculine here is offering that's the nine of pentacles we're going to the nine of cups <clears throat> interesting the card before is emotional withdrawal past energy Fulfillment of wishes. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. 
bless you. You've been blessed. Okay. We're just holding on to the wish. It's manifesting a bit more. This card being one, if not the most positive, of the minor arcana cards represents emotional satisfaction, contentment and enjoyment. Your wishes are coming true. Are you ready? Happiness, success, good health, completion and accomplishment of your dreams and goals are in the palm of your hand. This card acts as a reminder to hold on to the beneficial feelings from accepting and receiving what you've asked or strived for. Know that they know that these will assist you in the future when you may need inspiration and positive energy. Let's repeat that. <clears throat> this card acts as a reminder to hold on to the beneficial feelings from accepting and receiving what you've asked or strived for. Know that these will assist you in the future when you may need inspiration and positive energy. But we're off to the future position soon. Anyway, this is the right time to heal those past memories that have been holding you hostage. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Forgive others and yourself so that your wishes, desires and goals have a clear, unobstructed path to your heart, soul and life. Right, let's move on to the mermaids. Mermaids and dolphins. The present energy. Wow. Be blessed. A blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. I'm um, being told that... I'm being told... I'm being told that we're not going to look into the future position. I will um, finish with a message, but I won't be pulling three cards for the future position. A blessed change. Although you may feel as though your life is upside down right now, everything that's occurring is for the best. This card assures you that the changes in your <clears throat> this card assures you that the changes in your life are actually helping you leave behind that which no longer serves you. Your spiritual purpose with the old situations is now complete. Your urge to stay centered in grace and acceptance. Keep affirming. I welcome divinely inspired change and I stay centred in the eye of the hurricane as change occurs around and within me. All change is for my highest good. I know that love is stable and always provides for me and my loved ones, no matter what our outer situations appear to be. Change ushers in fresh opportunities to learn, grow, prosper and create new relationships. The key is to keep breathing and enjoy the changes, even if they're intimidating. If the universe pushes you towards new, new responsibilities, know that you're qualified in heaven's eyes. Okay. Well, for the present energy, we're going to have a look at the oracles of shadows and light. And then I will finish with a sacred spirit reading card. <clears throat> we'll use those. Oh, no, we're not going to use those again. Uh, you're being helped. And I feel that's all you, you need to know, is that you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see results yet. That's why we're not going to delve into the future. Just allow it to unfold. And I feel that that's, that's okay. That's all right. It's all right. Because that's the right way to go. So you're being helped. <clears throat> so watch your th watch your thoughts. Watch your thoughts. Okay, I think it might be it's the last card in the deck. Your manifestation is being worked out right now, even if you can't see tangible proof. As an analogy, when sailors get close to land, they often see signs of life, such as birds flying or branches floating in the ocean. I think taken back to the birdie song. Okay, pay attention, guys. As an analogy, when sailors get close to land, they often see signs of life, such as birds flying or branches floating in the ocean. By drawing this card, you're urged to notice signs that land, your manifestation, is near. Even if you can't, if you even, 
even if you can't yet see evidence that your manifestation is in progress, in progress, in process. So I'm just, Jasper's woke up and he's, um, he's like slop, sloppily, sloppily licking himself. And um, I'm a little distracted. <clears throat> even if you can't yet see evidence that your manifestation is in process, this card assures you that your prayers have been heard and answered. Stay centred in faith and gratitude in order to open the door to your desires. Have you got it? Stay centred in faith and gratitude in order to open the door to your desires. Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> Let's get a message from the Oracle of Shadows and Light. Angel D. Los Murtos transitions to the spirit realm. It's like being in the center of the hurricane in the eye of the storm. And um, <clears throat> you're being taken through to the other side. Angel D. Los Murtos. Card number 16. This compassionate soulful and most tender of angels has been assigned two tasks. The first is to gently collect and gather souls to take home where they will rest a while before incarnating again. The second is to remove the fear of death and carry away souls who are anticipating sweetness and relief, peace and a deep restful time before rebirth. The angel de los Mertos does not obliterate identity at a soul level, but she certainly gently releases the soul from its body, allows the physical body to return to the earth and invites the soul to rest a while before choosing and getting advice from her. She must open up to her and get advice from her on Strangely Lonely. <clears throat> and getting advice from her on its next incarnation. So the angel D. Los Murtos does not obliterate identity at a soul level, but she certainly gently releases the soul from its body, allows the physical body to return to the earth, and invites the soul to rest a while before choosing and getting advice from her on its next incarnation. Her role is to take the fear out of death, to help you to see it as a transformation and opportunity and new life. She is tender and warm and epic. She is kind and compassionate and her tears fall as she gathers souls. She can speak to earthbounds too and encourages those whose work is done, whose time has come, to come home for a while to rest as they deserve and as the soul needs. She visits those who are left behind with memories and encourages communication and transformative support messages to come through. She knows that there is a rainbow bridge between the worlds and more than once a year, most especially on Samhain, the old name for Halloween, All Saints Day, or on the anniversary of the passing of a loved one, she helps messages from the departed come through with wisdom and guidance for their children and friends who are still with the living. Her love is boundless, but she has laws that she works within. The angel de los Murtos speaks. I bring you a message from a loved one and straight away I was taken to the parent energy. <clears throat> I bring you a message from a loved one, one whose spirit seems to have already departed, but whose physical presence lingers on for now as he or she prepares to depart from this life. I ask you now to acknowledge your loved ones who are resting in spirit or creating new selves for their souls. I've just got to let Jasper out. So 
So I ask you now to acknowledge your loved ones who are resting in spirit or creating new selves for their souls. You may soon be about to meet a beloved in a new form. I ask you to stay open-minded about the form in which the soul can come. And I ask you to be open to the message from the loved ancestors, for they have something to tell you. And it will come to you soon, in a vision, or a dream, or a message during a drape during a daydream that will bring such sweet tangible proof of what some people call of what some people still call life after death there is no death there is only life and rest in time and change be ready to be comforted and to learn more of the world beyond this world which is always with you but is not always believed in or trusted even when we send messages to you as clear as a flag in the sky. The divination message. The angel Delos Mertos appearance in a reading signifies that you must not delay activating this lifetime's purpose. Her message is not only from those who have passed, but of the truth that you can activate your new life while you are still alive. It is no longer necessary to pass, to recreate the life contract and purpose you have. Do not wish to leave in order to start anew. Believe that this life is a, con is a constant process of creation and that you are at a point where you can end a pattern without ending this life. Energy is changing and death is no longer the greatest reshaper. She comes to visit you now so the fear of mortality passes and so that you understand you can begin to rebirth yourself into a new life now. This is an awesome message. Okay, let's finish with Sacred Spirit reading cards. Okay, and the card is Birth of Creation, Potential Growth, card number six. Potential Growth, a Fresh Start. Since ancient times, the egg has been a symbol of the universe creation and life itself. It's symbolic of the holy resurrection and, trin and trinity, the seed of potential life and luck and wisdom. A representation of womanhood and fertility, eggs need incubation and serve as protection for the growing life within. A gathering of energy, a combination of light and shadow, yin and yang, all meet in one sacred space, evolving and growing at a rate invisible to the outside world. It was taking me to what's kind of growing in between the heads here, where it meets. Like... Like any egg, life can be fragile. Given a sustainable environment, life emerges, cracking and opening its protective layer to witness the outside world. You are also a product of your environment. Everything that is around you is destined to evolve, change and develop as you grow physically. These environmental influences form a part of your conscious actions as you adapt to the world around you. Spending time with other people can influence your behaviour, character, thoughts and beliefs. Positive or negative, their energy integrates with yours and can affect your choices. Spend more time with people that ignite the fire in your soul 
rather than those that hold you back from success. Right now, your spirit is asking you to try new routines. Get creative. Create a vision board about what you would like to achieve in your life, whether small or large goals, interests or short or long-term achievements. Take the time to nurture these areas. Birthing new ideas and projects now will bring many blessings. Birthing new ideas and projects now will bring many blessings. Family matters, children and fertility are in focus now. Seek professional advice to maintain or provide a sustainable and healthy environment. If you are preparing to start or add to your family, your physical issues and emotional matters need to be addressed now. <clears throat> so I want to take a deep gulp. If you are preparing to start or add to your family, your physical issues and emotional matters need to be addressed now. Okay, the shadow aspect, resurrecting the past, rigidity, victim-based mindsets. The, the angel assistant is Archangel Jophiel, family harmony and nurture life. And your affirmation, I adapt lovingly to new environments. I nurture new life with love. Let's leave it there, guys. That was a really good, powerful reading. I will catch up with you all soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.